Good morning, everyone. Uh, today is Wednesday, April 20th. And in this video, we're going to talk about the uh, indices, S&P, US 30, Dow Jones, and NASDAQ. Plus, we'll take a look at gold and oil. So let's start. Uh, first of all, as you can see on a, a daily, this is S&P 500. And uh, I think US 30, Dow Jones. Uh, you can see that there is a daily inverted head and shoulders. So we had a sell off, we had a rally, we had a pullback uh, on S and P. The pullback ended in the previous. Uh, this was once a resistance. We broke through it. Now it turns support, and uh, <clears throat> and uh, we were started bouncing from here. So uh, obviously this is a head and shoulders pattern, and uh, it's similar in Nasdaq. On a daily basis, on Nasdaq we uh, blasted through the support, but stopped uh, around six one eight of this leg up, and now rallying as well. So, uh, how do we trade all this? Well, first of all, uh, and also obviously the big head and shoulders is here with the neckline coming in here. So at uh, uh, fifteen thousand two hundred. So how do we trade all this? Well, first of all, on an hourly basis, we traded this pump today. And in uh, our signals group at apexbull.com, you can find out more information. Uh, we've been trading all of this uh, yesterday and today, uh, profitably, obviously. So uh, on a one-hour basis, we also have an inverted head and shoulders, as you can see here. So very similar structure to the daily, right? And uh, this is obviously a heavy, heavy resistance right now. We're probing. So close above will... Uh, ensure we're rallying even further in the towards the end of the week the only caveat is i think uh, powell is speaking tomorrow and most likely he's going to be joe boning the uh, uh the high inflation and uh that they will be increasing interest rates by 50 basis points so we might have a dip that uh might be a good idea to buy why well if we dip and start rallying back up that's going to be a very bullish sign, no matter uh, what Powell is saying, basically, that we're going to be uh, raising interest rates. Uh, U.S. stock market is not the only game in town, but uh, one of the very few left. And a lot of people will be piling in back into uh, reinflating U.S. Uh, stock market indices. So it doesn't matter which one you pick. You know, uh, they all have their own uh, personalities. So U.S. 30 is the uh, is the fastest moving one, obviously, because 35,000 level. So it can move 500 points easy. And if you're using a Forex broker and trading CFD, uh, yeah, one lot here will, uh, will be like 5,000 pips if it moves 400 points. So you have to manage your risk accordingly, obviously, when you trade all this. And if you need help with all that, obviously stop by the uh, apexbull.com or our free Telegram channel, uh, we, where we um, provide auto copying signals, in which we choose the risk percentage for you, and uh, trade your account that way. It just copies all our trades. Our track record is also posted on the website. So, with all that said and done. Uh, the one hour, obviously, the, this thing also had the inverted head and shoulders, uh, shoulder, head, shoulder with the neckline broken, broke it, retest, and uh, and we're rallying. So you can still buy the dip. Obviously, don't chase it here because we're right at the daily resistance. Uh, so wait for either a breakout or a little bit of a dip to give you a little more room. So maybe if you see it somewhere around here, around 30... Well, not 35, but uh, 34, 950 level, somewhere around here, you see a dip. And then you start seeing it rallying back up, maybe by that. So these are indices so far. They're all posting uh, bullish reversals everywhere. So for now, at least, we should be positioned uh, bullishly on all of them. Gold. Well, gold is, uh, it tried to rally last week we've been trading it long uh, i took profit last week uh, we also scalped it yesterday uh, a little bit i bought it somewhere here and sold it out here 
Uh, so small, small five, uh, five point profit. That was the only trade I took on a gold. I, I don't, I don't see, um, I didn't see the bottom that it's in. So I, I exited it for, again, for small profit, but we wrote a lot of this up, uh, when it was happening last week. So, um, again, this doesn't look like it has bottomed yet. We can easily go back to retest these range lows here with a 55 MA support. Uh, or maybe even probe below this uh, trend line here. So uh, I would be looking to buy this thing around low 1900. So I don't think we're still there. We still haven't bottomed. Uh, and as you can see, we rallied today in the morning just to uh, put in a reversal uh, pretty much. This started when this was uh, this was EU open, London open. So London pumped it up and we reversed it back down. So the trend is still down. Uh, I think we're going to take out these lows and probe uh, maybe this daily support somewhere around here. So 19, uh, 1920 uh, and somewhere around 1900, 1920, we'll probably find the bottom and maybe uh, start retesting. I think we're basically doing another triangle. This thing fucking loves triangles. Uh, as you can see, this was the previous corrective consolidation in the form of a triangle from before. So we had an impulsive move and a triangle consolidation, another impulsive move, uh, but we, are, we stopped at the double top. So if we start breaking down here, uh, this support, this is gonna be super bearish sign for uh, for gold, that means we are in a prolonged consolidation even more so, meaning we're going to be retesting these lows and then maybe higher from there. Um, fundamentals still support the gold long for, because of high inflation, so that it's a safe haven asset uh, and a hedge against inflation, obviously, with all the turmoil going on in uh, Russia, Ukraine. Also, this is um, uh, since uh, a lot of countries are now witnessing uh, how quickly the swift can be turned off. Uh, I think a lot of uh, trading will be starting back up in uh, in gold. Basically, uh, Russian oil and gas will be traded in gold as Putin tagged ruble to gold essentially uh, uh, a few weeks back. So demand for gold might be going up fundamentally again, but you don't fight the price. So if the price is still going down, uh, you stay patient and wait for your opportunities because let's say we have a sell-off uh, right into this trend line. So tomorrow and then uh, Friday and then next week, maybe uh, that's where you're going to buy it because you have a very steep sell-off coming into support. At least uh, you know that people who shorted here around these levels, they will be taking profit here. And that means if uh, they have to close their shorts, meaning buy positions, so the price at least might temporarily bounce. So either way, you'll be able to uh, pick up uh, a position here and a very high probability it's going to bounce and you'll be able at least to have a break even trade at, at the worst, right? So if it starts bouncing, you take a small profit and set a, uh, take a third off or half off and put your stop at break even. Um, if it runs here, great. If it turns around, well, at least you tried, right? And you put a little, you made a little bit of profit and it wasn't a big uh, risky trade. But you have to stay patient for this. Oil. So oil is very interesting. This is another triangle. Uh, well, so uh, let me make the same color. So we had a consolidation after a huge rally. Obviously, this was the, uh, well, it started prior to the war. And then it was this uh, culmination <clears throat> after the war uh, started with a reversal. Uh, and now we're trying to find, uh, obviously, it's just consolidating for now. So I want to see a bounce from, um, from this retest now. Uh, we still haven't fully uh, went down here, as you can see on the one hour, there's still space left. So I think we can um, wait a little longer, uh, let it dip a little. 
And then if we have a daily rise, I would hop on that rise to uh, retest these uh, highs here. If not, because this can be a, a, a triangle like this pretty much. And we can still dip here, then go like this, like this, uh, before we have a, an impulsive breakout. But it's worth a try in case this is just a breakout and a retest, then we go higher. Uh, we we have to be ready so for this scenario as you can see we had a, a strong on an hourly basis you have an impulsive move consolidation impulsive move consolidation in a form of which flag this is a flag this is a flag this was a flag right so and then we reverse so impulsive move a flag consolidation impulsive move choppy consolidation flag so a break of this flag will target somewhere around here and let's see what happens so for now, I'm staying. Um, I'm not buying this yet. Uh, I want to. I want to. Want to see price action uh, stop being in, um, in the downtrend impulsively on a one-hour basis, and then I'll be interested in. Uh, also, this is obviously now uh, a one-hour head and shoulders, shoulder head shoulder. So with a neckline here, so we can break down easily. Uh, go down, retest the uh, the breakout point trend line, and if I start seeing a reversal in an impulsive manner, I'll buy it. So, as always, uh, you're more than welcome to stop by our free Telegram group, ask any questions you want, and um, uh, check out apexpool.com for all our services for trading services that will help you uh, trade profitably and better. Hope it helps. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.